of God does not work without human cooperation. I said that last time, but this is important. The power of God does not work without human cooperation. Which means that, yes, I have dunamis. Yes, I have exousia. But if a person is not willing to cooperate with the exousia of God that God has given me, and the dunamis of God that God has given me, okay, the exousia and the dunamis will not work. I'll say that again. Yes, I've been given a juice here. I've been given dunamis. But if a person does not cooperate with the dunamis of God, does not cooperate with the exousia of God, the authority and the explosive power of God that God has given me, if they don't cooperate with those two elements of God's power flowing through me, it will not benefit them. Even though it's designed to benefit them. It's designed to drive out the devil. It's designed to rearrange the works, the, 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 the destructive works of Satan. It's designed to bring back the finished works of Jesus into their lives. But if there is no cooperation, nobody can be forced to receive from God. Therefore, you need to cooperate. Therefore, you need to yield to the power of God. You need to cooperate to the juice of God. You need to yield to the power of God, to the dynamics of God, so it can drive out the devil, and so that also it can rearrange things and bring things back to divine order. It can drive out the source, the devil, and rearrange and bring back peace, righteousness, joy, healing, prosperity, you know, wisdom. It can bring them into order. Marital harmony, you know, children coming back in line with this of God. All those things happen when a person yields themselves to exousia and to dunamis. So I'm encouraging and challenging you to do that. And you're going to see your life turn around like never before. God bless you. See you next time. Be blessed.